Hi, this is chef and professional home builder Janie Pendleton, and today we're going to be stoning our front porch post. You can see it here. We've got the patio bricked thanks to uh, Marty and Bobby Broderick, Harry's brothers. Thanks, guys. And they stoned my little section here up part way, or excuse me, they bricked it up part way. And so I'm going to come in here now with the leftover stone from my fireplace, the greenhouse, and my deck columns. I got enough, hopefully I got enough stone left over here, and we're going to brick up this column. I was going to do a nice tapered arts and crafts look to it, but I just don't have the width, and I don't have any leftover pavers to, to make this a little wider and to bring them out. So we're just going to go ahead and just try to bring this straight up. All I have left are small stones, so it's going to take me a while, a couple of days. I'm going to build it up so high, let it dry, build it up so high, let it dry. And um, hopefully I'll be done here in two or three days. Um, hopefully it will. Yesterday I had a problem with my stone setting on the greenhouse foundation. But, uh, but anyway, let's get started. And I'm going to show you how to stone something as simple as a front porch post. Now the first thing you want to do is you I always double glove before I start stoning. The stones and bricks are pretty hard on my hands. So um, first of all, I put on my uh, husband's surgical gloves. Uh, he always has, keeps a box of them in his car in case of emergencies on the highway or something. He has them. So I always steal a couple pairs of those and put them in our first aid kit. Well, whenever I'm stoning, I can grab a pair of them out. And then on top of that, then I have these rubber dipped gloves where they're cloth on one side and they're rubber on the other side. And this just feels like having on you know, like almost like a pair of um, dishwashing gloves almost, but they fit a little tighter, a little better. This uh, keeps my hands dry and um, you can see it kind of keeps that uh, mortar mix that's dried on there. And you can just throw these in the washing machine, wash them off the hose and throw them in the washing machine. They'll, they'll last through a you know, couple, of, couple of jobs. They're pretty durable. And this really keeps my hands from getting really calloused. Nobody likes a woman with calloused hands, so. And uh, I get some pretty bad cracks and breaks in my fingers, so. So what we're gonna do here to get started is we've checked out the area here. The area looks good. It did crack and settle here in one spot here where this was hollow, and they slipped in this last brick. Yeah, it did crack there, so that's not gonna show. Everything on the column itself looks really good. That's very important. Come around here and look. Um, nothing is pulling away from the house. Got a little bit of a crack going here, so we're gonna have to fill that in and fix that. But uh, we did have a really dry year. We had a drought year this year, and a lot of people's brick cracked, especially over windows and things. The earth actually shrank, and uh, as it fills up with water, it will swell back up again. That's just the nature of nature. So, so you can mix up a little bit of mortar mix, and while it's mixed up, you can fix some of the cracks in your home. I mean, that's just that's just the way it will be, especially in new construction. When it's a drought like that, things will move. Okay. So we're going to get everything out of our way. We've removed the gutter, and the gutter used to be hidden behind this post. It will now come down beside the post and come straight down over the step and hidden down behind the bush. Now I've just nailed a couple of these holding strips here. They're just little rippled pieces of tin and I've just put in a couple of roofing nails, galvanized roofing nails. This is galvanized tin as well. And these are just uh, mason sticks here. And these right here just hold the stones up. We'll hold everything on here, help keep it from collapsing off of here in case of a, 
I don't know, we get earthquakes and stuff here and get little tremors and movements of the ground. So this will keep things from falling off. And you can see I just pack the, put them in here, bend them forward, just bend them on one of the curves here, and then just pack it in here with some mortar. You can see I did it here on the front. And then you can see what it looks like. And if you have to, you can take a pair of tin snips and snip it back. No big deal. And you want to do this about every two to three rows. Okay, today is day two. Going up is a lot harder than going across. So uh, we're going to try to get this done. 